So now we're going to start looking at some checkpoints that we can utilize to get us into the good top of the backswing position. And one of the best ones for these is just to isolate your swing so you're only thinking about one particular part of it. And the bit I want you to start thinking about is your left thumb. So just lay the golf club down to the side a second and feel what your left thumb is going to do during the swing. It's going to start off in an address position pointing down towards the golf ball here, but then as you wind it up towards the top of the back swing, we want to feel like there the left thumb points straight at the target that we're going towards. So we're going to take the left thumb up and over and point it in the direction of the target here. So from this angle it comes up and around and points in the direction of the target just here. If you were to find that you were taking the club what we'd call across the line, you might have found that the thumb was pointing to the right hand side of your flags over this way. Laying the club off too much would be too much the other way and that would have the thumb pointing out that way. So you should feel that the thumb points at the target. Then when you lay the left hand on the grip, when we take the club up to the top, it points here towards the target line, which means the club is on plane at the top. So take that left thumb, focus on where it points to at the top, it should be pointing down the target line, then it can come back down towards the golf ball. Just utilizing that quick practice aid there, that little practice drill, should help you feel where your left thumb goes, should help you feel where the club goes, check the top of the backswing is on plane, not across the line, and not laid off. Give it a go, see how that works for you.